Hey everyone. We're in some new settings here today. I'm Alex and I'm here with Betsy. Hi. Hey so if you watched our little commercial yesterday, we told you a little bit about what to expect today for our live stream. So thank you to everyone joining in. I know we had a big day yesterday and we told you that today was going to be even bigger. So if you want to write in the chat a little icebreaker to get us started, what did you guys do for the eclipse? What did you do yesterday? Um, if you were in a certain zone that like in Cleveland, it was totality. I have to admit it was much cooler than I thought it was going to be. I didn't really know what to expect, but it got completely pitch black at about 3.15 for four minutes. The whole world was just still no traffic. It was, it was pretty bizarre and pretty cool. Um, so that happened and um, Cleveland was just a busy place and um, it was a, it was a destination place to come to. And I know Kansas city was, was close to totality. Yeah, we had 90%. So it was still light up, but it was like that really weird gray light. Mm -hmm. And it was so cool. Like it dropped um, probably like 10 to 15 degrees. It was, yeah. it was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. And we were lucky because there was no clouds. It was blue skies. I just mm -hmm. sat on my back patio and got to look at it. So. Beautiful. Yeah. So tell us what you guys were doing yesterday. You were probably also just looking forward to today. The live stream <laughs> with me and Betsy. Um, I know. Linda's in the chat and Aaron is on an airplane to come to Cleveland today. So um, I am here in the sound booth at our Cleveland venue. <laughs> and um, so it's a little bit of a different setting than you see me normally than in my office. But uh, we are setting up today for the Cleveland pattern testing workshop. We're so excited to see those of you that have joined us. And Cleveland, honestly, it's been an amazing venue for us. It's a beautiful, big space, lots of wonderful natural light. None right here now because I'm in a sound <laughs> booth. But right outside this wall is the lobby of this um, property, and it's just beautiful. So thank you again to those that have signed up. We're excited to introduce to you the pattern, the Lakewood shirt, which is currently named after the neighborhood I live in. But in this workshop, you guys might, we might rename it. You guys might throw out some new name options. So uh, we start with a cocktail party tonight at my house. And then we start sewing Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So if any of you are interested in our events, particularly Cleveland, feel free to send me an email. My email is alex at sewingworkshop.com. We've had project-based classes in Cleveland. Last fall, we had an ET and helix pant class i think it was helix not mm -hmm. pencil. um and then this you know this time is the pattern testing workshop where we're actually making a shirt so they've been a little bit different from so kansas events in that they are project based but we're open to having different formats of events just particularly because cleveland is um it's just a beautiful space so feel free to send me an email with any thoughts if you want to join us in cleveland um, at another time in 2025, we're already kind of in the middle of planning for 2025. So in general, if you haven't already, go to our website and check out the events page because we've posted already our Santa Fe 2025 listing. We haven't sent any emails about, uh, out about it yet, but that is on our website. You can sign up for Santa Fe in 2025. We're doing that again. And then it's not on the website yet, but here it is telling you guys here first. We're doing a Canada event at a place called Niagara on the Lake in September of 2025. It seems so far away, but I'm sure it'll be here soon. Yeah. yeah, so that's what's coming up for 2025, and then we'll have more rolling out here shortly, but we're excited. So I'm in Cleveland, Betsy's in Kansas City, and today we're going to talk to you guys about the pattern sale that we have going on, as well as our staff recommendations. So we talked to all of our staff and in the office and we asked them to pair a pattern with a fabric. We asked them to choose four of each. So with a fabric, they also chose a pattern that they thought would work well with that fabric. The reason we did that was because we have so many new fabrics right now, so many. I think I've put up 71 new fabrics online and I still have more to do. I do like a handful every day. So if you go on the website, there's a little section under shop in the drop down box and it's what's new. And that's where all the new fabrics kind of filter through. Um, so you should keep an eye on that 
because that's where all the new stuff comes. But mm -hmm. we wanted to like show you the new fabric and like talk about what we're planning on sewing for the summer to give you guys some ideas and mm -hmm. give ourselves some ideas. So. And I just love this little metaphor, this visual with it. It's like when you roll through a bookshop and you see, mm -hmm. you pause and stop at the little signs that say staff recommendations. I usually read those. So, you know, this is sort of our version of saying like, hey, what would other staff, you hear a lot of like what Linda's sewing, Samantha, maybe myself, maybe all of us in different ways, but to kind of collectively have our staff come together and say, hey, this is my style. This is something I, that can't, that, um, that, spoke to me or uh, stuck out to me. That's the word I was looking for, stuck out to me. Um, you know, they picked it. And so we're gonna show a presentation with each of those selections. But first um, we have a video from Linda. So let's start with that and we can see what her presentation selections are. One. I wanna talk about my four favorite fabrics and patterns. So there are two things that I really like. I love to layer. I like shorter tops, a longer layer underneath, and then so obviously some sort of bottom. But I also love what we call Devoray fabrics or burnout fabrics. And those fabrics are generally in the dressy category, which I don't really need so much anymore. So I like to figure out how to take a supposedly dressier fabric and put it into an everyday wardrobe. So today I have on the trio top pattern in a silk georgette. It has a panel in the back and a little bit of easing across that, collar and stand. It can be worn as a shirt, it can be worn as a vest, but it's a little bit sheer and so therefore I like to wear a t-shirt underneath it, something like the trio t-shirt because the Trio t-shirt is generously fit at the top and it does shape and it's not super fitted but a little bit fitted through the waist and the hips. So when you look through the, the uh, Trio top, you can see a shape underneath. So I started with this fabric, which is this incredibly gorgeous silk velvet burnout. And it has these lovely peacocks on it but you can see that the background is black and it's sheer. But when you make it into something very casual like this, it just works. You don't have to save this for something dressy, a special occasion. So this would be my trio top, like I have on. And then I've got a couple of choices for the trio t-shirt that I would wear underneath. Now this is the trio t-shirt. You can see that it has some shape to it and somewhat fitted through the hips, so it's not loose. Raglan sleeves, but it does have a seam down the shoulder and clear down the arm, so you can shape that to fit you. So if you think you can't wear a raglan sleeve, you can because of this seam. So this would go under my trio top, and I could make it in this beautiful, luxurious red French terry, which definitely knocks it down into something more casual. So it's smooth on one side, and of course it has the very fine textured French terry on the back side. Or I could move over here and make the Trio t-shirt out of this texture. Now I love textures. I also made a Liberty shirt, which by the way is, has been our longest standing uh, best selling pattern of all time but you can make it as a pullover. It doesn't have to have the buttons and collar and all that. So I might make this the uh, Liberty pullover in this texture. I can still wear that under the trio top. We have a tutorial about how to do that, how to turn the Liberty shirt into a pullover. You can make it with or without a funnel cowl neck as well. But I have to say that one of my all time favorite patterns is the origami skirt. I'm pretty partial to this because it was our very first pattern 35 years ago. It's so unique. It has one opening for your right leg, 
another opening for your left leg. So in a sense, it's pants, but it looks like a skirt. There's a zipper and a button and, of course, a waistband. So the slimness of this is a great profile with what's happening on top with the trio top. And I would make that out of this cinnamon colored linen rayon. Now this is the fabric that I have more pants in, more bottoms in than any other fabric. I have summer colors, winter colors. It's a year round fabric and it is absolutely one of my favorite fabrics. Washes beautifully, doesn't wrinkle a lot. So it's linen without having those properties of linen that some people don't like. So that's my combo. Hope you like it. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed the little thread clump that was hanging off Linda's <laughs> arm. She left a comment about that. That was <laughs> filming. I, I, I did remember seeing it, but I thought she's doing such a good job. I don't want to interrupt her. <laughs> but um, I love seeing her selections because it's it's showing fabrics again that you we might not normally see you know in our office they're just hanging off the bolts but pulling them out putting them up on that wall and talking about them it's, and also the origami skirt also not a pattern we we mention a lot but I love just the thought of the silhouette of that origami skirt and pairing it with what she what she mentioned so well, I think it's interesting because um, as we go through the presentation, you will see how some of us, and I think you and I, for instance, we just chose things that we want to make. They don't necessarily go together, but L Linda really, she was looking at an ensemble. Um, and I know like Samantha was really looking at an outfit. So it's interesting to see how people plan where... Um, I think, oh, that'll be a great shirt that I could wear with other things, but other people make plans for full outfits. So, mm -hmm. so you're seeing a lot of different styles in this presentation, mm -hmm. which is great too. And just as a refresher, if you go to our website and you click on the, the home screen icon for the sale, you're going to see all of our staff selections. The And there, Betsy has paired them with the fabric next to the pattern they mentioned. So if you're looking for Linda's fabrics, they're in that category. And just for a, a review, the um, fabrics are not on sale particularly, but we've got the big pattern sale. So that's the 25% off. And that 25% off coupon code cannot be used with any other coupon code. So that's just, that's the only coupon code you can use, but it is 25% off, which is which we don't, we don't really do. Yeah. <laughs> we so. don't. We don't do it very often. <laughs> we talked about it. And then yesterday when I was like, are we really doing 25% off? Because it's so unusual. So yeah, it's it's a great deal. Mm -hmm. um, well, I think we should jump into the presentation, see what everybody's making. It. Okay. All right. All right. So first up, we've got Aaron. So... I think what Erin did, I think she just picked some of her favorites. She went through the racks and found some nice colors, some nice prints. I do actually remember her saying, she's like, these aren't actually things I wear a lot. She loves knit fabrics. She often goes toward dresses or knit shirts or white and black. But she, she did say she was like, I'm picking a lot of prints right now and I'm picking things I don't normally wear, but I want to wear these things. So her first selection, her fabric and her pattern, is the, this linen twill in a really awesome Marsala color. And she has paired it with the Picasso pants. Those were also actually the pants Linda was wearing in her video that you also see her wearing now. But you know, if Linda and all of our staff have one pair of Picassos, we have 7,500. Well, so it's many. interesting because we got this Marsala linen in a couple months ago and everybody went straight for it with pants. I think we got it in right before Santa Fe. And before I got it on the shelf, Linda was like, I got to make some pants out of that for Santa Fe. And I was like, okay, get it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm going to go back one. I think it started on the second. So we've also got, oh, there we go. Yeah. So this is an interesting choice for Erin because she is not a print person, but this is a really beautiful um, floral print. It's really painterly. Like you don't, um, 
when you see it up close, it very much looks like a painting. You've got like brush strokes, and then from far away, it's almost abstract, but it is a floral. And she's actually in this picture, she's wearing it buttoned up, but another kind of thought with the cottage shirt is that you can wear it open. And she is actually layering this and wearing it with a longer mix it top. So that's another way to style this is not having it as a traditional button down shirt, leaving it open and wearing it with other layers. Okay. What's next on her list? Oh, this, this now shirt in this cotton file is a fantastic idea. So the file, it's, it's a little bit of a thicker fabric. It is cotton, but it has almost like a twill, um, it's not a, a necessarily a twill, but it's a similar to a twill texture. It almost feels like a um, men's tie, but thicker. So it's a great choice for a shirt or a jacket actually. And this is an older picture of Kathy. Maybe it's one of the original nows, but it was hard to find a original now pattern picture because we have remade the now shirt in so many ways and so many variations. It's Kathy's favorite pattern as of lately. And so the now shirt is a really wonderful traditional button up shirt with great fit and this really interesting double collar. Um, so this fabric with that shirt, great idea. Mm -hmm. uh, the London shirt, this, um, I love again, this print idea for Aaron. This is a new um, uh, embroidered floral print. And on the website, just as a reminder, we do have pictures where you can see these images in different views and see the prints much closer. So definitely just check out that sale category where you can see the images in a, in a better way or in a different way. So pairing this again, kind of similar to the now, just a, a traditional shirt, but making that shirt in a print. So she's paired it again with a London. You can see a little bit of layering here in how she styled this London shirt, wearing again, a longer mix it tank underneath her London shirt. Well, and just to mention on the faux embroidered floral name, it's because when you get close to it, um, and you will see it online, it's almost like it, it, the print was embroidered and they took a photograph. So the flowers have the texture of the thread. Um, it's a really great look. So, you know, you get an embroidered look without having to do all the work. Mm -hmm. And That's I do cool. see Linda commenting. She's commenting on YouTube right now. So if any of you are watching on YouTube or want to switch over to YouTube, Linda is commenting and kind of adding some more things in the chat about her, these looks on YouTube particularly. Betsy, let's talk about yours. I love these pants. So this is not only on my summer sewing plan, but actually already done so I can check it off. <laughs> love um, it. I made my favorite pants, which is, are the West End pants. And I paired it with this um, viscose fabric, which is actually a little bit heavier than a normal viscose. And it has the sateen finish and it has cheetahs on it, cheetahs on a green background. And I just couldn't resist it. And I've been wearing it all the time with my carnelian coat. And even though that is an explosion of print, people really like it. I wear that a lot and everybody comments positively. <laughs> the carnelian coat was our March So Confident project. We still have this pink fabric available as a kit. Betsy, you just look fantastic in this. It's <laughs> so if you want this look, we do have this fabric and kit available for their carne carnelian coat. But I just made West End pants um, in a knit. They're just, they're our most wide leg pant. And they, I make them full length. You can lengthen the pant for it to be longer. But traditionally, they probably hit around like below the knee or in the calf area. So they have a great pocket and just a traditional waistband mm -hmm. uh, application, elastic waistband, but really an easy pant to kind of whip up. Um, you can make the pants without the pocket, but it's, it, you can make this we pattern definitely... in, it, in a woven. <laughs> yeah, everyone needs a West End pant. Love the pocket. And so I'm shorter, so I don't do a full length. I usually um, have them hit like just above my ankle. Like that's a proportion that works for me with the fullness of the pattern. 
next on my list oh so we bought this incredible i think it's a rayon large print kind of 70s swirly fabric that i fell in love with and i immediately thought of this ikena jacket that we had um done last year or the year before i just love the idea of like a long flowing jacket for the summer which you can wear over pants or like a long dress um so i was really into it so we have the ikena we also have the ikena too oh so, this is the ikena too sorry i always miss the two no that's okay <laughs> i so as far as like the pattern goes the ikena too i think is pictured this is longer and yep. Ikena is just slightly different. Um, but the Ikena itself is is no longer available. So the new pattern yeah. is the Ikena too. But but it's easy to lengthen to this. Um, I think she's just under knee length there. So I love it. It's so floaty and glamorous. Mm -hmm. It is. <laughs> And then another swirling 70s print. This is actually, <laughs> um, you can see where I am this summer. This is actually a Poochie print and the fashion design house Poochie is famous for um, these kind of 60s prints. They've been doing them forever. And a few years ago, <laughs> I had my photograph in the Mix It tank that Erin had on, and it was a lengthened tank for her, which is that black picture. But for me, it was a dress because I'm so much shorter <laughs> than she was. But it was a really great um, dress, actually, because I think the mix it tank fits me well on top. And then, like at that length, it worked really well for me. So I think I might try to make one out of this Poochie print for the summer. It's just an easy throw on summer dress. Love it. I love these because you can just really see the personality of the person <laughs> in their picks. It's so great. You can always tell who picked what when you look at the uh, the new fabrics. <laughs> <laughs> so this, um, I have not made a Charlie Bomber yet, but I've always wanted to. And I haven't wanted a thicker one, like a heavier one. I've always been intrigued by the Charlie Bomber that Linda is wearing, which is made out of a light silk. I think it's such a great idea for um, like a light summer jacket. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's so different from anything else. So of course, what I would use is this incredible Tonalon cotton from Liberty of London. Um, it's this pink pomegranate print and it's got a beautiful like burgundy background and like these pops of super bright pink. Um, from the designer Althea McNish, who is a famous fabric designer. And I think I would just put it with some black or if I could find it, like a pink Ooh. ribbing at the mm -hmm. bottom and the sleeves. I think it'd be so much fun. Yeah. And Linda didn't use traditional ribbing. She just used stripe knit, I believe, on her oh, that's Charlie. True. Mm -hmm. So that's an option too. You don't have to use ribbing. You could just use a knit. But you know, she made this to have it be a tennis warm-up jacket, so much more lightweight, able to just more of a just casual jacket. I don't think she's ever worn it as a tennis warm-up because it's just it feels kind of precious in a way after you've made something. You might not want to get it all sweaty, but it's just a great another version of a Charlie Bomber. Um, you know, not thinking of our jackets as having to be for winter or fall, but you can make them in lighter weight fabrics and they can be all season wears. And I, um, this is actually a great thought for a pattern to to buy also our online workshop. We have a Charlie Bomber online workshop. So a lot of our patterns, if you search our patterns, they will generally have an icon on the image that says online workshop available. So if you see that icon, then you can also purchase the video that teaches you how to sew that garment. It's part of our Sew Confident program. So this would be one I would suggest to learn how to make Charlie Bomber. Yeah. And she did note um, in the chat, Linda, that she used a Ponte knit for the stripe. So it's not just a jersey knit. You do need something a little bit heavier that has the um, nice recovery. So the Ponte knit's really perfect for that. Um, I don't know that I will be taking up tennis, but who knows? What if I make it and then I'm inspired <laughs> to take up tennis or golf? Or the hottest sport right now in the world, pickleball, Betsy. Pickleball. I don't know. You know, I'm not really good with 
balls coming at my face. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> it's a lot to think about. It's a lot to think about. All right, now we are on to Becky's picks. So some of you probably don't know Becky. Becky is um, kind of a background person in the sewing workshop. We need to bring her out front and center more often. But she um, helps package your um, orders and just she helps all around the office. And she is a great sewer. So we uh, have her options here too. And she's starting with the six cent skirt, which is one of my favorite patterns. In this really interesting, um, it has a really great texture striped um, poly visco spandex fabric. So you'll see in Becky's pics, she said that she can't, she comes from the corporate office world, and she she loves that you know other staff or other people they pick wild crazy prints, and she she spent a lot of time picking her four selections, and she just thought I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it as is because this is really me, and so she she all of her uh, all of her mixtures and all of her selections are a little more maybe muted and maybe just cohesive and thinking about the corporate office world and just mm -hmm. getting ready for work. What do you need for, you know, to look classy, to look a little sophisticated and to, you know, maybe it's not a bright tennis Charlie Bomber <laughs> jacket, but what's something that she would wear to the office. So that's, that's the take Becky took for this. And also something you could wear all the time because a dark six inch skirt is going to go with absolutely everything. Mm -hmm. so she's smart that way. And her second choice is the mimosa top. Now, the, the photo here is a lengthened mimosa, which um, Brianna made as maternity wear. But the pattern itself, you can see on the illustration, is a shorter kind of hip length top. Mm -hmm. And this silk is a beautiful print. It's, you know, from far away, it's very kind of abstract and ocean-like, but when you get up close, you'll see that there are roses um, within this overall pattern, and I think that's a great idea for the mimosa top. Mm -hmm. It's a really drapey fabric, really soft. It would just, it would fall really nicely with the mm -hmm. mimosa. And that's a good top, you know, if you have, like, blazers that you wear to work, it'd be a really nice layering piece. So. Mm -hmm. What she got next? Oh, the mix it shirt. That's yeah, this tropical print. It, it, you know, and if you saw all of these four fabrics sitting there together, they all they're all they all go together. They're all kind of this blue, black, navy versions of each other. But the mix it shirt is um, a, a really nice pattern. I think this picture is one of the original patterns. Again, we've made the mix it. We have a lot. We have the mix it top. We have the mix it tank. We have the mix it shirt. So, um, the you know, there's a lot of variation. If you do, we still have the paper pattern, Betsy. Yeah, we do. Okay, so you get all three of those in the paper mm -hmm. pattern, and then I think the PDF patterns are, are separated out. But this is a another just version of a traditional shirt, but it has these um, princess lines down the front. So it's you know it's helpful for fitting and just getting a really nice structured look. I did notice that between all of us, um, all three of the mix it patterns in the um, paper pattern are represented. They so are. I think we have the shirt here and then someone else has the top because they're just, um, they're really easy shirts to wear and they kind of go with everything. So mm -hmm. let's see. Oh, the Tremont. If there is a pattern that just looks good on everyone and flatters every body type, it is the Tremont jacket. It's it's like a magical jacket. It's like Sisterhood of the Trap. <laughs> it fits everyone somehow. Um, I would, and as, I even like this, just a simple Tremont jacket in viscose linen. Everyone needs a black jacket. Every Everyone needs that go-to piece that you know you can throw on and again carries into lots of seasons it's not just for winter it's not just for an office but um, the Tremont jacket is one of our best selling patterns for that reason it's just a, a really um, popular look that is flattering on so many body types you know we have 
a black, a simple black Tremont jacket in the office. And whenever people come for So Kansas, they put that jacket on. And like you said, it looks good on everybody. And like the whole group sees whoever has that jacket on and everyone just like jumps for it because it's mm -hmm. so, it's very elegant, but like you could also throw it on with like a pair of jeans and just look great going out as a casual look. And we've made this as a vest. We've made it in different variations as well. It would be a great vest. Mm -hmm. too. Okay, who's next? Deb. I thought it was me for a second. <laughs> It is you, but it's it not. is me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, Deb, Deb again shows her personality in, in her own way in her picks. She loves dresses, and she immediately picked out this white gingham. Um, just a beautiful kind of bright. It's more bright. It's more pink in, than the picture, and I think um, kind of this candy pink slash orange that kind of comes out at you. Maybe coral is a better word. Um, but the gardenia comes in a dress and a top. I'm wearing this as the dress length, the dress version. And it's this is in a linen, so which mine is also pictured in. And it's just a great summer, spring dress option. Mm -hmm. And the blouse in, in the pattern, it is actually a sleeveless blouse. So if you want the sleeveless option, but you want a dress, it's super simple to just lengthen that blouse. So you actually have um, really... You know, if you get creative, you have four different patterns in that pattern because you could also shorten the sleeve version as a little top as well. Mm -hmm. But I think that's super cute for summer. Deb and I veer towards the pink, but you do too. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Florence shirt, which is what I'm wearing today, uh, this is kind of my go to pattern. I think, you know, uh, Kathy has her now shirt, which is her go-to pattern to make variations on. The Florence is mine. And I love the idea. This Visco Chalet is like super lightweight. Um, it's, it's just on this side of transparent, but it would be just beautiful as a shirt. The drape would be incredible. It would feel amazing because it's so soft and silky. And I love how it's graphic and... Um, bold, but not, you know, not super bright. It's still very wearable. Mm -hmm. And this is just a traditional alphabet print. It doesn't say anything in particular. It's just a lot of letters combined together and just really fun, really lightweight. And again, it, you know, you're, where you're seeing it pictured buttoned up, but I've also have one actually in a black and white. It's versatile because I wear it open as just another, another layer over a shirt. Okay, next on Deb's list are the Hudson pants, which I would think after the Picasso pants are probably the most made pattern in the sewing workshop world. Um, and she is using this um, new linen that we just got in, which is a lightweight linen, and it's got kind of a tan and brown stripe. It's about, um, I think it's about like a quarter inch of a stripe. I don't have my sample with me, but it's pretty subtle, but it gives it like a nicer, I think, um, deeper look than just a plain linen. And it's got that, the tapered, legs at the end but Samantha introduced us to a whole new world when she started leaving out the pleats at the bottom of the Hudson so you can choose to also just leave them and not include those pleats at the bottom of the Hudson's. Now how long do you wear your Hudson's Alex? So where Linda's are are kind of where I like to have them this isn't so it's not full length but it hits right at the ankle. Mm -hmm. um, so I generally, I'm taller, I'm about 5'10". I do have to lengthen this pattern about two inches and that hits me about where, where Linda's are as well. But that's that's my version of the Hudson's. And Linda says she likes it right above the ankle. So here we go. And last but not least, the Hugo top, which we never talk about and we should because it's a great top. I love this pattern, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's got this really interesting hidden button vent or placket, I think maybe is what it is, detail, um, which is super fun to sew. 
And she wants to, um, oh, Linda said that if you make the um, Hudson pants too long, then they get lumpy. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> um, so Deb has picked out this um, no magazine yet. special cotton that we just got in from designer John Galliano, which is very exciting. Um, and what it is, it's um, white, it's a bright white fabric, and then it's got this almost flocked, it's not fuzzy, but it's got this print on it, which is like a newspaper. So when you look at it, they are actual articles, but they're funny articles about John Galliano, and it's like the Galliano Gazette, and there are some pictures of them, like little cartoons, and it's pretty funny. The photos here and online, they're a little bit um, yellower because we wanted you to be able to see the newsprint, um, but it, it does read as a pretty bright white fabric. Mm -hmm. And it, yeah, I love this fabric. Like, and it's just something you kind of have to maybe even see, you know, we can also send samples of our fabrics, um, you know, so if you ever just want to see something up close, we can do that. But, you know, this fabric is really striking. You know, you have to kind of do a double tick to really notice like, wow, that's mm -hmm. yellow in that white and the yellow is the writing of these articles. It's really cool. It's really cool. It's very subtle. So I, I did make a note in the pro product itself that um, we have changed it a little bit so you can see it, but it, it's a really cool fabric. Who's next? Samantha. Samantha. Well, <laughs> she sent us a picture of Kelly Rippa wearing a an outfit that had the, the next two slides will be the colors for the Kelly Rippa outfit. Am I saying? I think it's Kelly Rippa. So mm -hmm. the she's chosen this she actually featured this last week in the odette live stream so if you missed the odette live stream last week it was fantastic samantha made an odette top uh, out of this uh, out of a knit and used this citron jersey knit as flat piping within the odette so she's taking this fabric again she's making really a, tra a traditional et make a basic t-shirt this is our most basic t-shirt in our line of patterns um the et and she you see linda wearing it she's made just a regular white t-shirt but then has black neck binding so she's chosen this fabric and then the next slide is i think the, there we go yeah the valencia pants so this is a straight leg pant and she's paired it with another another uh knit but in a really wonderful color um sorry this is a typo it's not citron <laughs> uh but i think it's, it's amethyst amethyst okay so amethyst so making another making kind of a whole knit outfit but with these two really striking colors that actually go together and the valencia's here are pictured these are some of my favorite pants i wear these all of the time um they are a uh, they just have one seam so they uh you don't have to it's a it's an easy pant to put together because you don't have the side seams you don't have to worry about matching you don't have to worry about um they're a very flattering pant too because they'll go around your leg and just fall and drape really nicely so the valencia pants also have um a, a slightly different elastic waistband treatment where it's flat in the front and then um kind of goes around with elastic after after you sew it onto the front there. So you can make them long, you can make them longer. This is the pattern version. I think this is a size medium, um, but they hit above the ankle here. Right. Oh, this oh, yeah. fabric. You guys, yes. fabric is like the greatest fabric. <laughs> it's amazing. It is a linen panel print. And so as you can see, that giant print is a panel. So when you have prints this big, you know, you, you get to play with it a little bit. You get to kind of fussy cut it and put different sections where you want it. Um, and I think a lot of people are hesitant to use big panel prints like that, but they're so stunning um, that you should really give it a go. Mm -hmm. And you can't really see, but she's paired it with this uh, teal jersey knit 
maybe maybe it's not teal it's more of a bright blue but with the e-dress you could have you could use the panel print as the bottom panel in the e-dress or you could consider using that teal floral panel print uh, as the main body of the dress and then the jersey knit on the bottom but you know to pair a really striking print in this dress I think would be fantastic. And Alex's picks. My picks. Okay. <laughs> so there's this little section in the office that I feel like gets forgotten about a lot. If you go ever in or in Topeka, there's a little corner where you just have to kind of walk around the corner and there's fabrics that are folded not on a bolt, but on a what is it, Betsy? On a they are in a bolt, not a roll. Oh, there we go. It's on a bolt, not a roll. Yeah. So mm -hmm. um, I look at these fabrics and I just kind of I, I, I tell them, I'm like, we haven't forgotten about you fabrics. You're just in a different section. So I found this summer garden print and it's a little more green than on the screen here, but um, it's really fun because it has this woman who is carrying her gardening canteen and she's watering flowers. I think there's like a picnic basket in there and it's just a really happy print. It's just the epitome of spring, the epitome of summer. And last summer I made a Nine Lives shirt I did a live stream about it and I made a few variations to the nine lives. I mostly, I just lengthened it. Um, and I made this cat print shirt, but I'm taking the nine live shirt and making that with this summer garden fabric. It's the cutest fabric. It would be cute in any button down shirt, the nine lives, the Hugo, the cottage. Um, it's mm -hmm. a really just sweet little fabric. So I kind of thought about outfits as well. So I put the two, I put the shirt with uh, the summer garden print with this pistachio green. It was like a perfect match. So um, the saltwell pants are a new pattern we released. I think it was this year, um, mm -hmm. January. So the saltwell saltwell pants are our version of a slim pants that is great to make in a woven fabric. So. Viscose linen is a fabric we talk about a lot. It's a great fabric to use for pants in particular. And this pistachio green is just wonderful. And I am wearing the saltwell pants in the, in the picture in a viscose linen. It's just a bright pink. So you get kind of a similar look here with the saltwell pants in this green. So that would be my first outfit. Mm -hmm. Then this one's a little more dark and moody, but still very cool. So this... Uh, what is it called, Betsy? Um, it is a it's a cotton lawn. Um, it's kind of a faces. I think it's very like a charcoal sketch mm -hmm. from an artist. Like that's what mm -hmm. I think when I look at it. Mm -hmm. um, I love well, it. Yeah, I do too. I you know, again, just these striking fabrics that you got to pull out and unroll and hold up to look at and just kind of take in the design of fabrics. So I've chosen to make this, use this fabric for the bamboo shirt, which was a So Confident project we did in February. Here it is pictured in a kit that we had um, with, so uh, yeah, this was a kit we had, but I've seen a lot of people making the bamboo shirt short sleeve. So Ooh, it would be fun to consider like a summer season bamboo shirt although i think i'm going to still wear this bamboo into spring and summer because of this fabric is super lightweight so i'm going to make the bamboo shirt in short sleeves you can take the bamboo shirt online workshop and learn how to make the bamboo it's a great great class it's got a welt pocket it's got tucks in the back um, just really interesting details and techniques within this shirt i'm going to use this fabric cool i really wanted to try to pick a skirt for the bamboo, um, but Linda picked my origami skirt. So we, we the sort of challenge of this was everyone on staff had to pick a different fabric and a different pattern than everyone. So I'm kind of going the pant route, but the Chesneys are also a really great fitting pant. Um, they, and I've chosen a plaid linen in this olive red. So there is a little bit of green. There's also a lot of gray in this plaid. So I would take this plaid, and make it into a pair of Chesney pants. What is pictured here is actually West Ends that are turned into shorts that are knee length, but I think you could still make the Chesneys into shorts, but 
West, I had already, we had already chosen the West End. Someone else chose the West End. Betsy, it was you. So, <laughs> so I couldn't use the West End. But thinking about making one of our patterns into shorts or longer length shorts, one of the trends this spring and summer is Bermuda length shorts or longer shorts. So, um, you know, I think it's, a, it's something to consider for your summer style is taking one of our patterns, the West End or the Chesneys, and making them into shorts. And that plaid would actually be really cute with that garden imprint as well. Your little garden oh, nylon. Right. That's so cute. You're right. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Let's see. So I think that is everybody. Ooh, that's a lot of that's a lot of sewing that's gonna be going on. Oh, we gotta do it now. <laughs> we <laughs> I know. have to do it. <laughs> um, we should like make a deadline like in July where we come back and we mm -hmm. have everything. Made. We should. Well, tell us what you guys are wearing and we want to see. I thought when I made the um, slideshow, I was thinking, and it would just be a little bit too hard to, to see, but I was like, maybe we should make it like a competition, like whoever purchases Deb's more of Deb's fabrics or Alex's fabrics or Becky's fabrics or Betsy's, so we could kind of see who whose looks people liked, but we'll just we'll just let you guys choose what you think and if you if you like a particular collection from one of our staff let us know in the chat but i know it was hard to keep up with some of the chat um as we were going through the slide so if you guys have any particular questions about the slideshow or about the patterns feel free to email us and i know linda was on the chat on youtube as well kind yeah, of answering linda, some questions she was really answering there weren't a lot of questions more just comments about people who liked yeah. certain things or yeah back and forth. I do want to say once again, the um, code is summer. So and you enter that at checkout for 25% off your patterns. It is also on the homepage of the website. So you don't need to write it down and worry about losing it. It's there, you'll see it. Um, again, you can only use this code. So it doesn't work with any other discount codes. Um, but it's a good, good deal. So yeah, I guess we have to get our stuff together and get going with some summer looks now. Yeah, love <laughs> it. Well, thank you, everyone. Uh, April is our um, next pattern, the Metro Skirt. So for So Confident, we're sewing that this month. And I think next week on our live stream, we, we're going to be talking a little bit more about the Metro Skirt. So Mm -hmm. uh, stay tuned and if you want to join us this month we're so confident that's what we're making and we have a video we have two q a's coming up this month and it's going to be a good it's going to be a good month so we look forward to seeing your spring and summer sewing projects keep sharing them with us on facebook and instagram we love to see them yep well goodbye everybody and we'll see you next week see you next time and see you guys in cleveland if you're coming